Hey guys, this is Aaron from Sting Away coming to you. Just wanted to kind of give you a rundown of the available jellyfish sting treatments on the market. So I like to call this. It's kind of a deliberately biased review because I came up with the formulations for one of them, but you're not biased yet, so I just wanted to kind of give you a rundown of what's out there. Uh, so, first up, fun the stuff. It's called Sting Zapper. Sting Zapper. Um, it's in a small, small, what seems like would be a hotel lotion sample packet type thing. Um, its active ingredient is menthol, 1%, camphor, um, icy hot, I think is around 5% menthol, so you could probably just get some icy hot if you're going to use that instead. Um, so it just says you just, just rinse the area, you know, just rinse the rinse the area once you've been stung then we apply this gel once you have your hands clean so just go wash your hands real quick after you've been stung by a, jelly, by a jellyfish um, you know, let's see let's scope this out it's kind of a, a green gel there um, so just get, a, just get a little bit on us there just kind of see what that's like yeah it smells like uh, whew, it smells like um Kind of like an icy hot almost. So that's Sting Zapper. I think it's around eight bucks, eight to ten bucks. This is you get you know you get two of those free, two of those lotion packets. So Sting Zapper. That's that one. Um, next we have uh, Ocean Care Solutions Jellyfish Sting Solution. Seems a bit redundant there. Um, it's five percent acetic acid. Which essentially is like a like vinegar, basically, right? So you could go find yourself the world's smallest spray bottle and fill it full of vinegar. Um, but if I remember properly, this stuff's around eight to ten bucks too. So try this. So you just get apply immediately to the affected area. Hopefully, you don't have any remaining stinging cells on you, right? Because all you've got is this little spray bottle, and then spray it like that there. Oh, yeah, okay. Yeah, um, smells exactly like vinegar. Probably because it, probably because it is vinegar. So anyways, um, there we have a jellyfish sting solution. Next we have jellyfish, uh, after sting gel, as this one's called, made by a tender corporation. So this stuff, um, is made up of, let's see what the active ingredient in this is, um, sodium bicarbonate, baking soda, and ammonia. I guess they're trying to mimic the, uh, the, the old um, idea that peeing on it's a good idea, right? It's ammonia. You could find that in urine. So, you know, remove any stingers. It's probably a good idea. You know, just grab it with your hand and apply after sting on your... Uh, Stinging area there. It's a bit hard to get out. Let's see. Ooh, yeah. Ammonia. That almost smells like a like a cleaning version of ammonia, so I'm not even gonna rub that in. It's probably not a great idea. Um, so there we have after sting. Also we're running about eight to ten bucks a bottle. Then we have um jellyfish squish. This stuff was actually pretty good. Um, it was on the market a few years ago. Uh, back when we first launched Sting Away, actually, all good ideas start to, they, they tend to begin around the same times. So don't Believe Me is a really good book on on that called The Evolution of Everything. Totally unrelated to what we're talking about right here. Anyway, Jellyfish Squish, um, for one reason or another, they, they went out of business last season, so you can't get a hold of this stuff. I think you can find some, some old cases of it that you can buy um, a couple bottles at a time on Amazon for about a hundred dollars in case you want to spend a hundred bucks on some jellyfish sting treatment but it was some good stuff for one reason or another they went out of business can't find it anymore so essentially all we got left is uh, the sting zapper and the lotion we got this after sting um, then we have sting away right the stuff that I came up with um, it's got a number of different things in it right it has uh, ibuprofen to reduce the inflammation associated with stinging get stung by a jellyfish, 
usually swells up, right? As lidocaine, because lidocaine is used to numb things, right? If you think about a lot of times before you'll have one injection or another, a lot of times they'll be they'll use it in the medical setting to numb it with lidocaine, and uh, that's basically how jellyfish stingers work. They kind of work like small little needles, right? So lidocaine for numbing, and uh, there's also an extract of this plant called Epimoea pesca prey, um, which is this 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 another word for it. It's also called IPA. Is uh, beach morning glory, and you find it commonly on the beaches. It's endemic to to Thailand, um, and the the Thailand the Thai would use it for uh, essentially they would make a poultice that would kind of mash this plant up and treat it with or use it to treat jellyfish stings and it turns out it's pretty effective uh, so we actually added an extract of IPA uh, to sting away and then there's EDTA which has also been shown to kind of help with um, neutralizing the toxin release from jellyfish nematocysts which are the stinging cells that they have there. And um, it's also in a black bottle, right? Because it turns out that hotter water or warm water actually helps re reduce the pain associated with stinging. And uh, it comes in this nifty spray bottle to help um, remove any stinging cells that may be remaining there. You just gotta, kinda like that. Whoa, just kinda like, kinda like that, some of that. A little bit of that. Um, rinse away any of the leftover stinging cells because you know it's kind of inconvenient to have to remove it with your hand or anything of that sort and have to rub anything on so it also removes any stinging cells that may be remaining in addition to numbing it and reducing inflammation and the pain associated uh, with stinging so it's kind of a review of all the available jellyfish sting treatments that, that are basically on the market that you can find this season um, if you're interested in sting away specifically there's a link in the, the video description you can go to the sting away website um, it's a good idea to bring a bottle with you if you're heading down to the beach with the family there's any possibility of running into jellyfish if you're going anywhere more specific like somewhere is going to have portuguese man of war um, also a good idea we, we make something called sting away blue that's a little more specific to the toxin that man of war release but always a good idea to be prepared um, you bring your you bring your sunscreen, good idea to bring a bottle of Stingaway with you um, because studies show that a lot of other things don't work. Vinegar, not a good idea. Um, meat tenderizer, not a good idea. Peeing on it, terrible idea. Uh, other than the social awkwardness, it just doesn't work, right? So, pick up a bottle of Stingaway. Just wanted to give you a breakdown of what's out there.